Evans wins in Mexico City. Yes! Here's just how he's bad, mate. Yes, guys. Buenos dias, everyone. You know, the team have done a, a huge, huge amount of work for the last two days to get the car ready. Qualifying for round four, the Mexico City E-Pre, with what is going to be a very interesting qualifying session. As we follow James Collado in the Jaguar. Only 13 for Collado. Messed up into turn one and turn three as well, so a bad performance really on, on my side. So it's just a matter of trying to keep it clean and, and score some points again. So we are about to get going with Super Bowl. Here comes Mitch Evans then. Looking for his third pole position in Formula E, his second pole position in a row for the Jaguar team. Four thousandths up, four thousandths of a second. It's all down to the Peraltada. A different bravery and skill are required right now. Lotterer, will he seal Porsche's first pole position? Or will Evans make it two in a row for him and Jaguar? Across the line, and oh, it's Lotterer. P2, half a ten. well done. Oh, so close, but I just got a bit of understeer and I couldn't recover it in time, so I had to come off the throttle to let the tyre basically breathe. I gave it a good five, but um, not today, unfortunately. And we go green in Mexico City! Evans is through, is he? They're going to be contact! Lotterer is sent off in the Porsche at turn one! Mitch Evans is into the lead! Racing well, James. Follow the lights, not race. Collado's just used the tank mode in the second of the Jaguars. Let's attack this lap. Attack this lap. Leading the way is Mitch Evans. That got that four seconds and a half away. Bring it home, bring it home. And here, into the stadium section, on the final lap, comes Mitch Evans. One of the most dominant races in the history of the championship. Mitch Evans wins in Mexico City! Yes, guys! You guys nailed that. Woo! Yes! Yes! This is how he's bad, mate. Superb drive! Fire away! This is how the championship points stand. At the top, Mitch Evans, 